Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. As you can see, the Wither Armour does enchant. I just put all the pieces on the enchanting table with some stuff and I got plenty of enchanting. That's quite good, isn't it? So let's have a look at actually what chance we got. So I got uh, fire resistance. Oh yeah, that's from there. So I got fire protection and breaking. Fire protection and uh, protection and breaking. Protection and iron wall. The iron wall is basically stops knockback. And this one we've got uh, Unbreaking and Fire Protection. I can easily remove those and put other ones on. So let's start, go and start today's episode. So what I did, what I got a suggestion from was um, Sir Harry says I can enchant the, and I don't know where I put the book, oh, so I do. I can enchant this sieve with a diamond enchant. Oh, no, Fortune, Civ Fortune 3 enchant, which we've got, I think, probably this one. So let's go and do that first of all and see if it makes a difference and i've also changed this it was something actually i knew already but bob with the big bat did remind me about it and that is let's not um compress this so i'm just basically making soul sand uh and that's getting processed slowly but in here so we're actually getting that stuff coming out let's just take that out of here and then in here we're getting we've got a total of six bitumen so it's not so many hopefully that's not going to keep going through that's because i took the sieve out i think so let's see if we can enchant this well i'm also feeling uh not i'm not coughing so much now so i shouldn't have so many interruptions <laughs> that's a bit strange I'm not sure what's going on there, but it sounded like a gas was getting ground. In fact, there is something coming ab above me. Anyway, uh, yes, let's do that in here. I don't know whether it does enchant. I thought this was actually reserved for the metal ones, but let's have a look. Indeed, it does work. Sieve with a fortune three. So that's a really actually a good both suggestion and a good reward I got from that chest as well. This'll be a blight. This'll be an ember floating across there, I think, somewhere. Shouldn't be able to get through anymore. So let's put that into here. And we should start to get better results from this. It's a weeny bit slow. I suppose that's the advantage of having the uh, this times six stuff. And that's those are going out. Of course they are, yes. They're coming into this chest. So we're getting plenty of um, nether quartz. Don't need to worry about that because plenty of graphite dust which is good for doing stuff like um, extreme reactors and well, I suppose we're going to have to be doing that soon anyway I'm not sure if there's another recipe for graphite does let's have a look well I can pulverize it I can sieve for it which is exactly what we're doing either way we can obviously crush ingots right and then we can crush ingots so the, basically the uses of these then is to make graphite blocks or basically turbine housings for uh, extreme reactors and stuff like that I think there's about a few pages of these well, we're not going to do that today I don't think so now let's think have some look what we're going to do next Well, Bob the Big Back said I've rotated this crafting table a while ago. Let's have a look if I have rotated the crafting table. Let's shift this one. So that's top left hand side. So that's appearing on the top left hand side. That's correct. And this one, you can't actually tell, can you? Let's be honest about it. Just click that in there. And sure enough, I rotated it. <laughs> very observant. Thank you very much, Bob the Big Back. That's excellent. Let's just rotate this round again. Oh, it's only one rotation. Okay. Doesn't look any different to me, the crafting table, but the items do look the right way around. Not, it's not so important, but uh, it does look funny when it's upside down, doesn't it? So I'm going to look at today. I'm going to have some more quests, I think. I'm not sure if there's anything else we can do. Oh, yes, there is something very important. It reminded me. That's a giant chance cube. Let's remove that and these ones. I figured out how to use this pendant after all this time. It's bugged. But it's not horribly bugged. It does actually still work. So let me come out here. And I think let's get out of here my... Uh, just in case. I'm going to say get my... Yes, this is one. Interdiction torch out of here. And we'll put that down <laughs> before we... When we do these things. Because I'm going to take them and do them 
a, a far a distance away and we shall see what we can get so I'm just basically going to do them outside here somewhere this is my nearest exit here so we'll just put them down somewhere like uh, put this down here say we shouldn't be attacked by anything and if we are we just go back a bit so that's the big deal so what we do with this if we actually open up the GUI on this one you can't see anything if you shift click a block into there you, ha you have a problem but there is a slot here so then we can increase the chance up to 100 like that and we can set the chance now I guess that means all those 27 have got this chance so it could be risky this but we'll we'll see let's put this down here and let's just try one okay now we have to break it don't we I think it doesn't matter if we break it with a chance to keep what happened there nothing that's a bit boring <laughs> what do we got a diamond sword with sharpness X, I'm breaking it X oh, that's probably quite a good sword as it happens let's put an oh got a block of that block of diamonds where did that appear from that must have been the first one wasn't it let's break the block of diamonds So that's how it's done. Should we open all of these? Well, I suppose to be honest with you, well, it's weird. Maybe I have to break it with a pendant or something. I've got another, another one. Ha! Oh, that's a bit strange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't expect that. Really strange. Let's put the next one down. Let's break it with a pickaxe this time, see if it makes a difference. What do we pick up this time? A useless generator, fantastic! <laughs> well, they actually look quite decent, these things, don't they? So that's how it works, and it works with the giant giant ones as well. Should we try a giant one after this? And another sharp, another ex extremely good sword, my goodness. I don't know how much damage these do. 12.5 attack. I'm breaking 10 so I guess it's we can extract those off at things and put them on other things I would suspect would probably be quite a good thing so let's just try this with the giant the giant chance cube so here's the giant chance cube don't shift it in just put it in there and set the chance to 100 plus that's the maximum it doesn't go any more than that take it out again let's put that here let's put it down I'm gonna put it down a bit further Oof. Oh. You put it down, it does it straight away. It gave me a real shock. <laughs> Let's see if it breaks. Ooh, what's that? That's something nasty. Don't like the look of that. <laughs> see something strong TNT at me. Let's go and pick up this torch and get out of the way. Well, that was nasty. <laughs> I think all those giant chance cubes do something horrible, but we are. That's made a rather large hole. What's it giving me? I oh, just... Lots of uh, netherrack, I guess. Well, that wasn't a very positive chance. I think those, I think those are probably doomed. Oh, that's a blazing doodah. A magic one. We shall get out of his way. Press shift just in case he decides to follow me. A magical blazing juggernaut. We don't want to. We don't want to risk anything, do we? I want to be honest with you. Well, let's try this next one. So that maybe didn't work. That. Uh, what have we got here? Raw eggs. Earth? Did I get raw eggs from? From better with mods. Okay. Let's try that with the <laughs> chance size to hydra and see what. That happens here. So let's go right click that one. Let's put the chance I draw in there. Set the set it to 100. Set the chance. Let's see if this works. These are always fun anyway. I really haven't had bad ones with this. Let's just bash this one off. I think we'll just bash it. Yeah, there we go. Put that out of the way. Oh, 
and we've got another useless another useless generator let's put the next one down but that's going to be sensible I'll stand back here wouldn't I got a bit of chance of protection then put some another right down <laughs> and we've got another golden bag of holding uh, they're actually not so great the golden bag of holdings as we've already found but they're actually not completely useless can't see it from here can I <laughs> well are they only ever going to give me useless generators let's put let's put two down I can do it like this can I oh now they're throwing Enchanting tables at us, that's uh, also pretty good. Uh, my inventory is full, but to get rid of some stuff. Block breaker, two enchanting tables. Oh, and some blocks of diamond. Well, they're not very imaginative, these are. They're all a bit sort of the same. Uh, blocks of diamonds we don't actually need. Enchanting tables, well, they're always not so bad, are they? Let's just do the last two of these. I should really watch what they do, shouldn't I? Oh, there's a gas. Let me just get that down there. Can't see me. I don't reach. I wonder if there's a way to make these reach. Oh, yeah. Drop the block of diamonds. There we go. No, nope, you can't see me. It's too far away. I see them dropping, but uh, now you should be able to see me. No, nope. okay, let's break this one. Right. So, basically, I think every single one of those uh, giant chance gibs has been a complete disaster. The Asahedrons would basically give me the same thing. I'm not sure about these useless generators. I think they do actually do something. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Well, let's have a look at my armour again. Oh, it doesn't seem to be taking any damage. I'm not sure whether it's damaged or not. Oh, that's been... Yes, it's had two damage up to it. Probably a black... Uh, it's probably an ember. Now this... Bob the Big Black Game is suggesting, and it's a very good one, in fact. I, it's not perfect. Not the suggestion, it's just that the actual thing is not perfect. So I put down two chests, like that. And one ch and then one chest I put in soul sand, and the other one I put in uh, heads, with the heads. I let it process. What happened is I got 13 nether stars. I, I basically got more. But uh, I got 13 to start with, and I added some more soul sand, because the soul sand was getting sort of... I suppose destroyed in the way and the rest of the stuff we got was some supremium essence, 32 of those which were excellent, 16 more nether stars which is pretty good, I got some more friendly in pearls and some infinity booster cards and not not bad, some with the rither so we can repair our uh, stuff, so what have we got to fire protection vault, iron wall, not so exciting uh, so, so basically that was how it worked and how I implemented it, or implemented it I think I'm talking software how I did it was like this I just attached some uh, item uh, uh, yes yeah, some transfer nodes to the bottom of that and also I broke up this one here you'll see that there was there was before a link between these two and these work by diff by range so I put in two speed upgrades in here and what it does is it keeps checking for that fluid well it checks for that fluid at a range and the same with this one so the shorter the range the faster they are so it takes the stuff out of here out of this much faster um and all i did to to break this up was to basically put right click it and that was it so this now transfers power to both of the machines so it transfers it to the mob crusher and the wither builder um and that's it really i suppose there's nothing more to say about that so that's also really good. Actually, I hadn't thought of that, to be honest with you. So that's a really good tip. Thank you very much, Bob. The big bat. Ah, super. Let's have a look. 
and carry on. Now I'd like to do some more quests, I think. Because we've got our bitumen, man. I'm not sure how much we need. Let's go and, have, let's go and check that now. We've spent about five minutes <laughs> blowing up the back the back garden, so to speak. Um, oh, we got seven. This is about full with uh, nether quartz. So I'm about to do something with that as well. Hmm. I'll do that between episodes. I think what I'm going to do between episodes is to clean that up a bit. So in the meantime, I think we can actually do some some more magical crops. But I first of all need to get rid of the stuff I've got. I've got too much. Um, how many diamonds have I got in there? Too many. Right, okay. Let's put some of this stuff into here. So I was thinking about the diamond blocks, really. Oh, with these swords. I'm wondering about the swords, because I've got the Soliarium, Soliarium Dagger, I can't pronounce it. Solium Dagger, I think. Um, where have I put it? Ah, oh, here it is. So this has got uh, Smite 5, hasn't it? And this has got Sharpness 10. So, and I'm breaking 10. I think it'd probably be worthwhile swapping this one over, if I can. So we'll put those into there for the time being. And let's have a look at the useless generators from extra utilities. Um, how am I going to find out what they do? I think I've got an extra utilities book, haven't I? I don't need these two gold bag of holdings either. Oh, stone. That must have been from the explosion, I guess. We'll put the chance cubes in here and the chance pen. But we don't really need that. I thought I picked up more than one enchantment table. Or maybe I didn't, huh? Maybe I didn't have enough capacity to pick up the other stuff. Never mind. I don't really care about it. So let's have a look at some of these quests that we've got to do next. One quest I'd like to do is in here I've got a, an Inferium Seed 5. Let's make that to an Inferium Seed 6. So let's have a look at uses of that one. Uh, so we, we need to make 8 of these Insanium Essence. And the recipe for that is this one. And I haven't got a... <laughs> because I've been using them all. But we should have enough. Though. We need basically six... Oh, 32. That will do, it actually. So let's just make... I'll go and get that crystal, because it won't be being used very often, so we can take it out of here. Especially at the moment, I don't think this slot's going to be working so, if it, so much at the moment. We've got 15. Okay, let's just take this one. Um, and craft that. In fact, I've got a crafting table here, haven't I? So let's make this in to put that there, and then let's use this th these 32 supremium essences to make eight insanium essences. You know, aren't we completed the quest? Insanium, there you go, then. And I left that stone on the table. Hmm. The next thing I've got to look at is, this is something I saw in Nemson's video, and it's a tip by, from the Loon 508. He says, make, how did he say he made, it was basically this at sync stuff, shells, he said make shells. And I didn't quite get that to start with, so what we need to do now is this one, and then we can make a tier 6 Inferium seed which I think is ooh, 45 farming well we've got plenty of that so we've got air in tier, tier 6 inferium seed let's go and plant that what I'm going to do with this is I would like to at least get two of these so we'll plant it straight away into here into the farm so let's come along here and that's where the tier 5 ones are so we've got these being replicated let's remove those unlock it and then we can put the tier 6 one in here and that should, lock it up again, should make a second tier 6 one. So if we ever need lots and lots of Inferium Essence, we've got a way of doing it. So let's just turn that on again. And let's get on with it. And we'll get, it'll, it will reproduce itself in a relatively short period of time. I'm not sure exactly how fast. In fact, while I'm here, let's have a quick look at these seeds. Let's put these in here. We won't need those again, I don't think. We've got plenty of water. Oh. I didn't. I made a boot. I made a mistake there, haven't I? This is the Inferium. Is that the Inferium Six? What I've forgotten to do <laughs> is to tell it to go back down again. 
Right. So that one. I have to wait for it to grow. And I think that was that was a water seed. So is this the six black quartz farm that this book is gone? Right, so it was here. So it should now be back in here. Tier five seeds, tier four seeds, don't need those in there. And the tier six seed, good. What I forgot to do was just set it in here. Oh, I can't get through. <laughs> I can't get through. It's not enough space. I need to make the roof higher. Right. Okay. So basically, in here we've got this filter. So tier three, we can turn that off. We're not going to make any of those. Tier five, we're not going to make any more of those. We'll just put the tier six seed in there. So that then, that's blacklisted. So it won't go back up. So we can put that back into here now. And that should plant itself, which I guess is here. That's black quartz. This one, isn't it? Inferium seed, yes. Doesn't tell you it's tier six, but it is. Right, good. Well, oh, it's hard work. Did I put those other seeds away? No, I didn't. Well, I should have done, shouldn't I? Let's go and do that. Since this is the chest I'm keeping the stuff in, let's put it in there. Hopefully this doesn't fill up with water. It's actually reasonably balanced. It's gr it's definitely increased. So I can add another cloche for this stuff anyway. Um, and we've got to make some more seeds. One of them was redstone. I don't know whether it's... Since I've already made it, I don't know whether I can simply take the redstone seed out of the other one. We will do that. Let's see if that actually works. So now, let's try pressing a four quests so mystical agriculture if i'm not mistaken if i click it oh that's it yeah there we go so we've got these two now so we can do this insane investment well, let's claim our loot chest done and this one claim the loot chest and done so the next one is a supremium smelting now that's quite expensive if i remember rightly because what it it needs is a lot more supreme essence. How much have we got in here? We've got, probably got enough. And certainly the, the fastest way of making this is by grinding withers. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Oh, yes, that does remind me. In this, when I was grinding the wither, I did notice there was a blight one in there. So it successfully ground the blight wither without any problems whatsoever. So if that's probably good information for everybody. So let's open these two up. What have we got here? A weakness trap? A damage trap and a slowness trap. Rare. Well, okay. Never seen those before. <laughs> and I got them twice. Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> Never seen them before and suddenly you get two. Let's go and put those away somewhere. I guess they can go in here, can't they? I guess these are for mobs and things like that. Dark utilities. Okay. In fact, while I'm here, let's put away this, this back to where it belongs. So let's have a look at shells. Now this is something I saw, I, thought, I think I saw Nemson do, but he didn't do it very well, I must be honest. Shame, because I was left more confused when he, afterwards than it's when he first started. And I think it's also got to be chunk loaded. So let's have a look at spot loaders first of all. This one, because there's a quest for this spot loader. Books, oh, that's not too difficult, is it? We can do this. Warp stones. They're not too difficult either. So we just need some purple dye. Ender pearls, that's okay. Let's do that. I don't want to use a warp zone I've already been using, so I'll make a fresh one while well, I'm hopping around those. So we needed some dye essence here. Yeah, which is a dye essence. Can't see for trying. This one, it's the one that keeps changing colour, isn't it? So we'll need at least we'll do six of these because it's I think it's three for every ever you're doing. So let's have a look at the uses of that. We want the purple dye, which is that one. So we can do so we get six of those and they've disappeared. So that means we've already got some because that means they've gone into the chest. So the spot loader, warp stone. Right, no problem. What's this? Empowered Emeraldic Crystal. That's the Blessed Club. Block of Crystals, that's no big deal. So let's just get a block of emeralds. 
gonna hop around here. I'm trying to get a block of emeralds. And we need to empower this. So let's have a look at the uses of that. And go to the empower. That should be around here somewhere. Oh no. Do I have to do it one at a time? I'll tell you what, let's go back and have a look at the recipes of this. Yeah, you can do it as a block. Oh, I couldn't have seen that before. Okay, so we need some lime dye, some slime balls, and an oak sapling and some grass. Which I think we've got all of those except for slime balls. So let's just make sure we've got a slime ball. And I can't see any if we're trying. And it doesn't work with grit. Oh, I've got two. Good. Actually, there should be a recipe for these. How do I do slime balls? Let's have a look. Because we should be able to do those magical plants as well, shouldn't we? Uh, then I do recipe. Let's do recipes. Okay. Liquid slime bucket. I'm fine. This is the one we need slime essence. So we need slime seeds tier three. So it's a slime chunk, which is made by slime balls around a mob three chunk. Okay. So we need, I think, 16 slime balls. That's actually not such a big deal. We can do that. We'll do that. Because they just do that from rice seeds, don't I? So, um, that shouldn't be a big deal. Let's go and enchant this up. At the moment, I've got these, these ones in here, which I don't want. So, let's just remove this. And put this in here. I think that'll work. Ah, wrong. I've got to put this through the atomic reconstructor first, haven't I? So, I'm slowly remembering my actual edition stuff. If I get close enough, I think it does actually drop on here without my magnet picking it up. Nope. Let's put the magnet in here and do that again. Nope. Too far away. I just exactly the right position for this. I don't know. Maybe there's just yeah. That got that got it. That's right. That should now work. This is actually why it's more efficient doing blocks. And I was doing at some stage n not doing blocks, I was doing a thing. So let's put that into there. And then right click this one, and that'll take it, the last one off, put the block in. The only thing we need now is a slime ball, like that. So this will get produced, converted, and then come into here, won't it? Yeah, I think it uses quite a lot of power, this. I'm not exactly sure. Probably uses about nine times the power, but doesn't use nine times the ingredients. And then after that, we've got to make a load of books. There we go. So we have that one. Actually, let's put those into that chest there. So that's that bit done. So the last bit was books. Ah, yes. Leather. How much leather have I got in here? I need probably some tan leather, haven't I? I might have some in here. Yeah, we've got 11. That are probably going to be enough. Uh, if we need more, we need to go and get the bark done. Getting the bark done is not too difficult, actually. It's just, in fact, we can do that as we're waiting. All we do is just take some wood. I haven't been using any dark wood, dark oak. I should be, because it's great. I love it. It's a good colour. And let's just stick this into here, and that'll produce some dark oak slabs uh planks and some bark the only diff the only bad thing is it will produce uh, a different colored bark than the ones we got and they don't mix that's a negative thing but that's not too bad is it so books books and let's have a look what have we got in here paper right now paper is fairly easy have i got I've got tons of it, that's the reason why it's fairly easy. Should be in a string in here. I'm doing string at the moment. I probably should change that I probably should change that sapling to back to paper. Um let's right click that off there and that will get rid of stuff. So I reckon probably a stack of paper will do. Let's go and get that sapling out and change the oak sapling. I probably don't need the oak sapling at the moment. It's done a lot of work and it'll probably be in this one. So what have we got here? Spider web, that's the wrong one. I need the paperback saplings, this one here. So we just take one of those. 
Why am I keeping my nether stars? Because I can't remember. I was a bit gormless last episode, I must be honest with you. My cold was really getting to me. Oh. That's unusual. Normally break the hopping without giving you the tree back first. Not so much. Let's put it down there. Let's put the paper bark sapling into that. That's thick. Let's put the oak sapling into there. And we shall end up with some paper. So now we can do some books. Let's get some books in. And I've still got my glove on. That doesn't matter very much. This will give me 11 books. And we need a lot, don't we? We need quite a few for... Um, I've got plenty of I've got plenty of bark anyway. What did I get to? Smelting and efficiency two iron pickaxe. That must have been another drop I didn't see from the um uh chance cubes. Now we need wooden planks I think for books. It might be bookshelves. How many are we going to be able to make? That gives me three. That's going to be that's enough for three plus two books. And I think for the spot loader we need a little bit more. No, oh, perfect. We can do it. So recipe for that. Okay, that'll do. I think we can do it like this. So let's see if we can go to the table. Let's see if we can make a bookshelf now. It's really matter which one we use as it happens. This one's strange because it likes that, but um. It is planks, I'm sure it is. So, books. And then just ordinary planks, I guess. I've got, because I've got in here some staircases, and it didn't want to use the staircases. So let's try these, that'll be enough, I guess. We will need two times three, and oh, oh not quite enough. <laughs> oh, yes, it will be fine, yes. Sorry, can't count. So we should be able to make the spot loader. Indeed we can. Another quest completed. Spot loader. Spot load. Right. Let me put the paper in here. I've got some chests. I still haven't figured out where I'm going to put the uh, small ones. So there we are. So if I remember that was their problem that they had us with that. I'll get rid of this paper too. 64 in there and 64 here. I don't need 64 everywhere. Let's put the stuff away. I should really find a more efficient way of doing that, shouldn't I? Um, and the next one would actually be spot loader, but this will probably be good for us to start with. Let's have a look at the, the uses of this. Oh, just put it in the resonator and you get a chunk loader. Yeah, is that all? How much GP does it need? It doesn't tell me. All right, I'm. Well, let's have a look at that again. See so if you can reverse the thing. Uses of this one? No, you can't. There's no uses of chunk loader itself, except for to load chunks, of course. Well, yeah. That that's also a quest. Okay, now, where am I going to go to with this? I wanted to look at with the at sync stuff, didn't I? So there's not that much. There's a sync core. So sync cores, oh, this is good. We've got plenty of daylight sensors. Uh, plenty of <laughs> nether quartz, I mean, for daylight sensors. So we need some glass and we need some plank, slabs. Slabs ain't a big deal, are they? Have we got lots of slabs in here? Three, not a lot of slabs. The only thing I've got any uses for these stairs. Um, actually, yes, we've got some uses for the stairs. But what's that thing? Diagonal wood. No idea what that is. Oh, we can cut them into ordinary oak planks. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Because um, they're not much use as, as staircases at the moment, are they? So let's get rid of those. We've got some leather bricks. So can I do the same thing on those? No, they're... Uh, I think they were dug up from the, the maze or somewhere like that, weren't they? So now we can do some more slabs. Oh, well, we could do some slabs if it got in the right place. That's 27. What do we need in here? 
and, and glass, don't we? So, okay, so let's go and get some nether quartz. Might as well take it out today because I want to also see how we're doing with our other stuff. Let's run. Oops. Have I not got to. Oh, I haven't, have I? Let's I should put that on, you know. Uh, feather falling four. Oh, it's already filled up, my goodness. Oh, we got 17. So that is. Uh, wow. That went fast. My goodness, that is a, a an amazing sieve. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna have to put a better sorting system on that straight away, aren't I? Well, we'll do that between episodes. <laughs> goodness gracious me! Can I get rid of this stuff? Uh, yeah, I can actually. Let's get rid of it. I don't think it's going to go in there immediately, but we've got some more spaces down here. Uh, I'll put it on here for the time being. It'll give me 500. 12 that's already filled up <laughs> oh right let's just increase that with a straight away I think oh I didn't mean to do that I meant to do this well that's not the first time I've done that is it um, I should have a look in here so I haven't checked this for a while oh it's actually not got too much stuff in it some diamond leggings and a unbreaking helmet of which both are not particularly useful let's just get rid of those two sort that out and you can see your swords those are usually the interesting ones and rods are quite an interesting as well and not that one in this case blast protection is there anything else not really i'll deal with those between episodes oh uh, yeah i've got another one i can put in there can't i this one I'm thinking about it. So now we should be, have got enough glass. Thirty-one. Yes, we should be able to make some of these. Now, how much do I need here? So I only need one core to make one shell constructor and a shell storage. Now I don't understand this completely, but we can do all of this. No big deal. So let's make two cores to start with. Um, so we need four of these things. Right, good. Get rid of this. Put it away. And I can put the rest. Oh, it's actually already up here, isn't it? Let's just shove one of those up there in case we need a stack of it. Um, planks. Good. So now we should be able to make two of these cores, I hope. Oh, redstone blocks. Oh, lapis blocks. Okay, we should be able to do lapis blocks, no big deal. I'm going to make two redstone blocks. I probably can't do that, actually. But we've got plenty of redstone. Let's I should have picked this up, but I didn't notice that to start with. Nope, I'm not going to do it that way. I have a redstone seed. Might as well make use of the redstone seed, mightn't I? Um, we've got 3,000 of these. I picked up two stacks. Uh, one stack will be fine. That will give me quite a lot, actually. So, um, I think it's just like this, isn't it? It is indeed. Let's take that. And then put the one, the one last one back again. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's craft up two of these blocks. I want, don't I? And then we can put the rest of the stuff back in here. I've left those on there. Doesn't matter very much, does it? And we could put this into here. And we should be able to make our storage one here. So that's a sink storage one. Oh, we need glass panes. Okay. Oh, we've got plenty of glass panes. See if we can do that one. No, I haven't made the cores yet, have I? Right, okay. So we've got two cores. So I should be able to make a storage. And then I'm going to have to look at how to use the rest of this stuff. I should be able to do this. I need to make an iron block. And an iron weighted plate. Uh, we should be able to make this. The next thing we need is this thing, treadmill. We've got here, black carpet. Okay, two pieces of black wool. No big deal, she'll go and make some black dye. I think I've got some pigs, spawn eggs, haven't I, for a reward. So let's take, oh, not enough. Six. Oh, 
always check the use of this because I can never remember. Oh, first one, no problem. That'll give me three. I'll do three. I'll do that. Give me six and wool. This is just basically string. That'll give me two pieces of wool. Actually, that's enough. And we can colour those two pieces of wool, which have disappeared into here. So I must have some more wool in here somewhere. Where's it gone to? Ah, here we are. And where do we need four of these? I think we might need four. Let's have a look. So we need to colour this black first of all. And my ink sacks have disappeared too. So they must be in here. And I can't see them. Where did the ink sacks go to? Alright, it's probably easy to look this way. Um, that's strange. Oh, there. Can't. See? Blind as a bat. So then we should be able to put these two together and make some black carpet. Oh, it makes three. Okay. Well, I think we'll just make three black carpet. I'm ending up with stuff that I don't need, but it doesn't matter very much. So we've got some black carpet, obsidian, and oh, another daylight sensor. Let's make another daylight sensor. Not so bad now. Oh, and some iron bars. I think I've got iron bars. Do I have some spares? Because I was making iron bars for the reinforced obsidian, and I can't remember if I kept some spares with me. No, nope, I don't see. I have to make some more. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. No, I, no big deal. We've got plenty of iron, so. 16 iron bars, so now we can actually should be able to make this thing. A treadmill from sink. And I know what we do with it, but. Oh, extra lives. Quest completed. Aha! Let's go and have a look at that then. Is this the one I didn't want to do? Done that one. All right, we'll leave that for now. I think that's in survival, isn't it? Extra lives. Enable hard code. I don't want to do that one. Unclaim rewards. So, uh, let's have a look at it. Choice reward. Okay. Yeah, I think that's one. I'm not going to claim this request. Leave it done. I don't want to go into hardcore mode because I'm not very good at Minecraft. <laughs> but we should make an obelisk. Let's go and see if we can do that as well. I think that's part of the stuff. So let's have a look at that. And I'm going to, between episodes, I'm going to test out this, um, this sink stuff. So, obelisk. Because I'm not 100% sure how to use this thing. Oh. Well, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So all we need is some red dye. That's actually rather easy. I've got red dye, so I don't need to make anything else. Stone slabs, we've probably got in here, as it happens. Three stone slabs. Oh, just happen to have it, because that's unusual, isn't it? Never, never happens when you need it. So we can make an obelisk. A new bed. Okay, so that's... Um, Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I remember. Let's, let's go and... Oh, have we got a choice reward? An iron hoe. Fantastic. Come back now. No. A block of iron. Two, chan two loot chests. Let's just take those. I'm not too enthusiastic. Oh, 5 XP. Okay. I don't think I'm going to take the giant's count cube. I've not had a good one ever, so... So that's that. So basically, survival is now completed. Fantastic. Another quest line done. Just incredible. Right, and I've been over my time again, but we'll be opening these chests up first of all. Oh, enchanting, that's a good one. And that's a rotten one, never mind. Let's put the, the where's it gone to, the uh, anvil up here. We've got a few anvils, that's quite nice, isn't it? 
And I'm going to start thinking about and next time I'll have a look at doing some sync stuff because that would be quite nice to, to deal with that one. Oh, I've got my red dye. I must have had some more red dye in here, did I? I don't need it anyway, do I? So that's... Uh, I can sort this chest out. In fact, I'll take that string out of there because it's just filling up a space. I don't need it to fill up a space. So I think between episodes, I'm going to... Let's put that string in here. I'll get rid of all of this stuff in the meantime. And the dye chest is here, but I've got dye in here. Well, I think I need to sort my inventory out a bit, don't you? There is... Oh, there's another star. There is one more thing I want to do with another star. And that's I'd like to make an upgrade, another upgrade for the um, ore processor so it's um, I think it's just an upgrade isn't it and it's this one so we need to make what a beautiful block oh actually that's we need two so that's actually not too difficult is it let's do that or shall I do that next time I shall save that for next time uh, Yes, I will say that for next time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. So I'll see you next time. And I wish you all a happy Easter, by the way. Because it's, it's actually Thursday before Easter. It's got a name, I forgot what it is. Anyway, bye for now.